What up, guys? What's going on? How are you guys doing? Uh, figured I'd just start this video out by, you know, we haven't chatted in a while. And if you know me, you know I go through a lot of bikes. I have a lot of bike reviews or unboxing videos because that's what I did like for the first like six months of my riding career. So I just kind of like wanted to find the right bike for me. But uh, anyways, it's been a while. So we just got some packages in the mail and I figured I'd uh, start like a little bike building video, a dream build, something like that. Uh, I'm way too impatient to do one of those dream build videos where you, you know, wait for all the parts to come and you lay them out, make it look cool. Anyways, as you can see, no ex explanation here. Big Fox guy now. Uh, this should be interesting because some of the guys I ride with just keep blowing their foxes, so pretty excited for that. So if that happens, I'll be real excited. We got a, I don't know, is this a bike, a frame? What is this, a Surly? Hell yeah. Something I just hopped on, you know, F Specialized. All my friends are mad at me because we're supposed to be riding pit bikes right now, but this just came in the mail. So, I mean, I just happen to have this guy. So. Oh, and we got staples. Jeez. Should I reveal it? Oh gosh. Oh, I ordered it from a bike shop, so they packaged, packaged it correctly. So I'm thankful for that. Got this off pink bike. All right, all right, I don't wanna give it too much away. Oh, you see that? You, can, you guys see the color? I don't wanna give it away too much. There should be... Oh. I don't know, what is it? What is it? Where's my other stuff? Oh, got me a GX trailer. There's also a bottom bracket in there. And you know what? Maybe I'll make you guys sweat it out a little bit. Yeah, let me know what you think it is, if you care. I'll give you a hint, I mean, uh, I do like my mullet haircut, so maybe it's a mullet bike. Run down of some parts I have. I have the Descendant Cranks, the DD Grips. I have an old specialized seat I'm going to use for now. Wheel slick, spacers, dropper, boot, guard, tram, crank, whatever those are. You guys know. Wheel slick, chain, uh, oval chain ring. Sorry, Blake, I'm going to use that. More uh, titanium bolts. What was that? I needed a dropper cable. Yeah, so I went with Magura's. I got the 203 front and rear rotors for the trail bikes. I got this cable housing stuff to help it not rattle if it does. I'm just being really OCD. And I got the one up oil slick tool because you guys should know me by now. Everybody that rides with me at Horns or wherever, or if you just know me, for some reason I got on this oil slick thing. And yeah, anyways, whatever. So I'm gonna check in with you guys here in another day or so when I get things going. Probably going to frame wrap this and yeah, catch you guys soon. Hope you guys like this new build. And if you don't, hate on it. Because haters gonna hate. That was so dumb. What's up? Day two. Well, for the bike build at least, but rainy day here. I've got some work done. I kind of showed you guys what I got part wise. And I was waiting on more parts to come. So I got some more parts. Do you want to see them? And then maybe I'll show you the bike. Maybe. So what I did get, uh, I went with the GX shifter to match the old GX derailleur. Pretty snazzy. Uh, I stuck with the one-up carbon bars because I have them on my enduro and I kind of just want my bike to match. Kind of feel the same when I'm riding. Uh, so I also got the Dighty Super Kush grips with the little oil slick bolts. Guess what? We got more oil slick. Check these out. Oh, got them for the Maguras. I don't even know what those are. The derailleur pulleys. Uh, shout out to Better Bolts. Uh, you can find them on Instagram or wherever online. Uh, I did get these for the Enduro because, oh, here. I snapped one. So, oil slick, why not? You know, replace them with something cooler. Because that's what you do. Uh, anyways. I had to get post mount adapters for my Magura brake, so I got strams, and obviously they had them in oil slick, so why not order those? Um, one up dropper, lever, 
to match the one-up bars and to match my enduro e13's new cassette uh finally came back and saw this is their gray color kind of almost looks like a bronzy i don't know but it's the lightest one on the market right now from what i've heard and yeah so this is it i kind of i mean i like the black look but this is lighter this was actually cheaper so it's a two-piece i'll show you guys how it goes on later but that's it also by e13 i got i'm gonna try these out i got these new uh, flat pedals they're composite and look at the pins on these things it's a very big base it's concave concaved pedal so yeah we're gonna give them a shot uh i am kind of supported by e13 so kind of nice that i get to uh get a little bit of a discount on the product so shout out to e13 might as well use them while i have it yeah uh what else did i get guys i think that's all i got in so do you guys want to see the bike maybe a little bit of it you want to see what i got done boom so i got the derailleur on the gx i got the descendant cranks i got my oval chain ring uh it was real fun running these i see i just kind of had to mount this i gotta put the adapter on there but i had to run the cables through that was real fun check out the oil slick one up tool pretty sweet another thing by e13 is the stem i got a 40 millimeter stem uh, Fox 36 Performance Elite. Founder on Pink Bike. Got the fender. That's the bike. Do you guys know what it is yet? <laughs> Let me know what you think it is. So that's going to be it for now. Uh, I'm going to put more some more of these parts on right now. Get her buttoned up because I've got two more things coming this week. I guess I'll see you here in a couple days for the next part of the video and a review of those parts because they're pretty cool. And yeah, that'll be the end of this video. And then the next video will be uh, the final bike, a uh, little montage, I don't know, a little bike build, something cool. I'll explain everything again and what the hell I'm doing. How about that? All right, catch you soon. What's going on guys? It's another day, it's another package. Exciting, so what did I get today? Oh baby, got some tires. Um, I had to go with Max's, so I don't know if I should be excited or disappointed, but Michelin DHF, I'm going to do a rear. Yeah, crazy. And Michelin asked the guy front. Um, I'm not familiar with Max's tires at all. Uh, as you guys know, or if you didn't know, I've been uh, running Michelin Wild Enduros for like a year now, and they have been my favorite tire so far, but shame on Michelin because there's like nothing in stock. It's so hard to find tires right now. So I hope I picked two good ones. I know those are like the most grippiest tires that they make. So I'm hoping that's good because I mean, I love having max grip, AKA the tires are called max grip. I might do a video on those here soon, like comparing them to my Michelin. So if you guys want to see that, let me know. And what tires from Michelin do you run? Did I pick a bad combo, a good combo? I don't know, but I, 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 I don't know. So. Let's go to the garage and see my other goodie and we can wrap this video up. Woo, look what it is. The final finale part for this video is the Nuke Proof Horizon uh, rear wheel. Uh, XD driver for the E13 cassette, by the way. This bad boy, it's got 102 points of engagement. You can find them at Chain, Reactions, uh, Chain Reaction Cycles. I believe it's a UK based brand, but uh, yeah, not the lightest wheel in the world, not the heaviest either. I think it's like around, it's like a between a thousand to 1100 grams with the tape and it comes with the valve already. I've tried the spank wheel out on my e-bike and I want to try this uh, new proof wheel out. I love trying new things. I know I've said this a million times in my videos, but I like trying new things until I find out what I like. I probably should have just ordered i9 wheels, but good luck getting those right now. <laughs> but uh, that's my favorite. That's what I have on my Enduro so far, but we're gonna give this uh, guy here a shot and hopefully she's strong enough and can handle me and my big old body. Not really. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching this. I know it really wasn't like, you don't get to see the bike yet, 
<laughs> uh, it was just kind of like what parts I got. But if you guys have any questions on parts, uh, bikes, whatever, where I got my stuff, let me know. I'll tell you. Uh, I know people are saying it's hard to find stuff, but I mean, it is, but it isn't. You just got to do your research. And yeah, I don't know. I guess the next video is going to be uh, a little sneak peek there. Just keep watching. The next video is going to be the new bike. I'm pretty stoked about it. But here, check this out. Ooh. Oh, man, these sound good. Sorry, I got distracted while I was filming. So these things are going to sound sick on there. That's what I like. But anyways, appreciate you guys shredding with me today. And I will see you in the next video with a new bike. Maybe a review because I would probably have rode it for a few days by the time you see it. So I'll see you guys soon. Peace.